let's say you are writing the jump exam and you came across this question how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says calculate the number of moles present in 16 grams of co2 now this question is extremely very easy before we go ahead to solve any question in chemistry it is important for us to understand the topic to which that question is from and from the look of things this question is on a very important aspect in chemistry and that aspect is simply called mole concept so having a a proper knowledge on the mole concept will help you solve questions on this other aspect in chemistry that is very important and is called stoichiometry so both aspects are very key in the jam exam i already have full video lessons that explains on this topic in chemistry called stoichiometry so make sure you go watch the lesson that lesson explains everything you must know about solving questions like this and other type of questions that are related to this so listen carefully now let me quickly tell you why i said that this question is a mole concept it's very simple i saw mole in this question so it tells me that oh this question must be from the mole concept are you there so listen carefully now let us bring up number of moles because that's what the question is asking us to solve for all right so the question is asking us to solve for number of moles now this must be noted it must be noted here that number of moles is given with a symbol and that symbol is n small letter n and this n which is number of moles is given by five formulas which i already have on my video lesson on the topic stoichiometry so make sure you go watch that lesson because in this question of using just one number of mole formula to solve this question because that is what this question is all about so listen carefully so out of the five formulas i'll be writing just one out so make sure you go to this lesson and watch everything you must know about stoichiometry now listen carefully the number of moles formula i'll be bringing out is based on the parameter given to us in the question the question asks us for number of moles i am aware about that but the other parameters given to us to solve this question will determine specifically the number of most formula i'll be writing out so since i saw grams and i believe you know that any number in science that is expressed in grams is basically mass specifically in chemistry so you can see that 16 grams is actually mass so i'm going to write that down so mass in this question was given to be 16 grams are you there so since they gave me a compound in this question we can actually get what we call molar mass from that compound so basically since we are given a compound we can get what we call molar mass from that compound so solving questions on this aspect is by properly inspecting the parameters given to you in a question that will determine the formula for number of moles you use to solve that question so listen carefully so with the compound we can get what we call molar mass and the compound is co2 all right so before we progress solving the question it is important for me to write out the formula since we have brought out the parameters given to us in the question so there is a formula that relates mass and molar mass for number of moles and that formula is simply n which is also number of moles is equal to what we call mass divided by what we call molar mass are you there so listen carefully so from the compound we can actually get the molar mass and i'll be teaching you how to do that it's very simple and this is how you are to solve for any other questions related to this particular question on the board so listen carefully here is the compound the compound is co2 so let's solve for the molar mass of this compound is very simple we were given the atomic masses of the element before you solve the molar mass of a compound it's important for you to know the atomic masses of the elements in that compound and the first element here is carbon and the atomic mass is 12 
you will be giving him most questions, but it's important for you to know it's all right. So 12, because of carbon, I'm going to write 12 on that, plus oxygen. Oxygen atomic mass is 16. I'm going to write 16 here. But since we have two oxygen, I'm going to write 16 times 2. I believe you are following. I believe you are following. It's actually very easy. All right. So let's press our calculator. 16 times 2, that is 32. So molar mass of the compound will not be equal to 12 plus 32. 12 plus 32, that is 44. And molar mass basically has units. The unit for molar mass is basically grams per moles. Whenever you see slash, it means pa. All right. So moving further, let's impute everything into our formula. So what was the mass given to us in the question? 16 grams. So mass will be 16 grams divided by molar mass of the full compound, which is 44 grams per mole. So here will be over 44 grams per mole. All right, gram will cancel gram. Are you there? Living just mole. You can see all of the options are expressed in moles. So 16 divided by 44, that is 0 0.364. Wow, we had 0 0.364 moles. And let's check the option that corresponds to our answer. That is option D. You can see how questions like this are being solved without stress. So get ready for your own practice question. I have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions. I already have them on the chemistry masterpiece, okay, which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry. So if you are preparing to write the jam exam, this book is very, very important for you. Now, for more information, getting the chemistry masterpiece, do well to direct message me via my WhatsApp number. It will be on the screen. We are going to change the compound. Now, the compound basically is going to be H2SO4. It's very simple. And the mass now is 9.8 grams. All right. So the element now has changed. Whereby the elements now include hydrogen 1, sulfur 32, oxygen 16. Are you there? So these are the elements involved in the compound. That's why I have to give you the atomic masses of all of the elements in the compound. So you can solve the question without stress. So comment down your answer below. We've come to the end of this lesson. If you find my video lesson helpful, make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share my lesson to your friends. Thanks for watching.